These are our new plugs. These are NGK B6ES. These using our little spark gauge, spark plug gauge. These come gapped at about 27 foul. Our figure is 25 foul, so we just need to adjust these a wee bit. Using our special adjusting gauge. Look at that, perfect first time. So we're back here with our Morris Miner. Now if you remember from when we actually got it running the first time, there seemed to be a few issues there. Um, burnt valve, missing compression on the cylinder, who knows what. Today we're going to find out or we'll get some direction as to what's going on. So I've already kind of been through, done a few, few checks. So I've checked our points gap, that was already good. Um, I had a set of new plugs, so I pulled out the old ones, put some new ones in after gapping them to 25 foul. Uh, I've checked our valve clearances and I don't know if you can see it, but they weren't too bad. A couple, number one valve was pretty tight, uh, ninth valve, uh, they should all be, well the book says 12 foul, internet says 15 um, to make allowances for, for modern fuels and those kind of things. So we've gone for 15 across the board. There were one at 9, one at 11, one at 12, they're all sat at 15 now. As you just heard, hasn't really improved how it's, it still runs fine, um, but hasn't really improved our popping, missing, lack of power kind of situation. So we're going to do a compression test, we'll do a dry compression test, and a wet compression test, and we'll see what's going on. Here are the spark plugs uh, from left, we've got cylinder 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's give you a quick look at those, see if you can get your internet diagnostician hats on. If you can figure out which cylinder is causing us a problem. To be honest, they all look fairly similar. They're all kind of carboned up from being sat there for 20 odd years. But if you can see anything different, comment down below. I right, just ignore where it says Repco on the dial. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's not much is it? So kind of 40 psi on number one. That one's a fair 
a bit better, but not perfect. So like one, 120, 123, we'll say. Pretty inconsistent across those four. Now for our wet compression test, we'll just pop one to two teaspoons. Still down at 40. Well, I'm still down at 40 psi, so it's fair to say that the problem is a valve issue at cylinder number one. Compression is still a bit low on the other cylinders too. It should be around 150, 160 psi, I believe. So, just see what happens if we put a drop of oil in these ones. Put a good, good view on this down in the piston ring. put us way up to about 180 so yeah one ring as well up to 150 on that one so that from uh so 50 psi so 100 to 150 Number four, we've gone up to 150 psi. Right, so what do we make of that? So, we try to give it a tune up, give it the best chance to, to work properly. Uh, it didn't really work out. So, as I said, our point scale was good, our spark plugs were okay, get pretty well, put some new ones in anyway. Our timing I didn't show you because the timing marks are underneath, real pain in the bum. Our timing was spot on. Uh, our valve clearances, we had a couple of tight ones. Uh, so our tightest one was valve number one. It's on our problem cylinder. Uh, so that could be an indicator of which valve is a problem. Uh, the rest were pretty good. Uh, we, I set them all to 15 valve. Uh, again, still around the same, popping out the exhaust there. Didn't really expect any different, but gave it a try. And our compression test, so our dry test, got a range of from 40 psi to 123 psi. Our worst cylinder, number one, 40 psi. Did our wet test, added some oil to the bores, ran it again. Uh, cylinder one unchanged. Uh, the others improved by at least 50 psi. So. Uh, we got some top end work to do, we got some bottom end work to do, 
Uh, so we're just going to take the engine out, stick it on the stand, take it to pieces, go from there. I was chatting to a guy at work the other day. Uh, he's got a drag bike. Drag bike? He, he races his motorbike down a drag strip. Um, he ended up buying a set of valve cutters recently, so we might be able to do the valve job ourselves. Well, no, actually, I might get him to do it whilst I watch, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge and we'll see what we need to do to the bottom end um, and go from there. So, yeah, um, next video we'll get the engine out, get it on the stand, take the head off, and um, start doing some work. So, there we go. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see us for some more Morris Minor action. Cheers. Right.